Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install MongoDB on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your browser and search for download MongoDB. And the first link which will appear here will be from mongodb.com. And here you can see MongoDB community server download uh, link, right? So we want to download the community server for MongoDB. So just click on this uh, link, which is going to open uh, this website. So once you are on this MongoDB uh, community edition web page, you can scroll down a little and you will see MongoDB community server download. I'm going to scroll down and here you will be able to see the version. So you can download the latest version from here. The current version at the time of making this video is 6.0.5. So select that version and then select the platform. We want to download the MongoDB for our Ubuntu 22.04. So I'm going to select Ubuntu 22.04 here. And then the package is server, right? So we want to download the MongoDB server. Just click on download, which is going to download this uh, mongodb.deb file. So just wait for the download to complete. It's not a big file, so it will be downloaded really fast. So you can see this file is downloaded. Now, in order to view that file, you can go to the files and then click on downloads. And here you can see this mongodb server amd64.deb file right so how you can execute this file in order to execute this file you can uh, use your terminal so just click on show applications icon here and then open your terminal by selecting the terminal icon or you can search for terminal here and then open the terminal from here and then navigate to your downloads folder by just typing cd downloads and then press enter and now you are in your downloads folder right so in order to uh, run this file let me just ls in this uh, directory so you can see all the files in that downloads folder directory and we want to execute this uh, file which is .deb file right so I can run this .deb file using this command just write sudo dpkg hyphen i and the name of your file so you can just uh, write m and then press tab and it's going to auto complete uh, the file name right so you can just write mongodb and then press tab key on your keyboard and your file name will be auto completed and then press enter and give your ubuntu's password so i'm going to provide my ubuntu's password and then press enter and it's going to start the installation of mongodb so now mongodb has been installed on our ubuntu operating system so let's see the status of mongodb if it's running after installing a mongodb so when you install MongoDB, uh, you need to start the MongoDB service in order to uh, start the MongoDB server, right? So in order to check the status of the MongoDB service, let's see what's the command for that. So to check the status, just write sudo and then systemctl. So just write uh, systemctl status and then the name of uh, your service in our case the name of our uh, service will be mongo d right so just press uh, enter here and you can see that mongodb database server uh, is there but right now it's inactive or dead right so we need to start this service. So in order to start this service, you need to write this command, sudo systemctl start and then mongod. 
and then press enter which is going to start the mongo daemon on your ubuntu operating system once again we are going to check the status of our mongo daemon service and this time you will see that the status is active or running after we started this mongo daemon right so now we have successfully installed mongodb server but how you can connect to this server and create some databases or view the data inside your database for that you will need a utility called mongo sh if you want to use the command line tool or you can also download some kind of graphical user interface client also uh, which is also available on MongoDB website. So you can once again go to the MongoDB website where you have downloaded the community version. Here you can select products and then select community edition. And then when you scroll down, you have already downloaded the MongoDB server. And then when you scroll down a little, you will see tools, right? So under tools you can see mongodb shell you also have mongodb compass which is the mongodb client which is the graphical user interface client so let's try to install both of these uh, clients the command line client and the graphical user interface so let's install the mongodb shell first so i'm going to select mongodb shell select the latest version from here and then uh, platform is Ubuntu. So this is okay for me. And then the package type is .deb. Just click on download, which is going to start download. And you know the procedure. So once this .deb file is downloaded, we are going to go to our uh, downloads folder. So let me clear this terminal. And I'm already in my downloads folder. If you are not, you can just cd to your downloads folder. And you can see uh, this mongo sh.deb uh, file is downloaded. So the command for installing is same. Just write sudo dpkg hyphen i and the name of your mongodb.deb uh, file. So just uh, right click copy and right click paste here. And then press enter which is going to start the download of mongo sh or mongo shell just wait for some time and you can see mongo shell is also installed once it's installed you can write this command which is mongo sh to check the status so just write mongo sh and if everything is working fine then this mongo sh command is going to connect to your default mongodb uh, server which is running on your local host right so we have already uh, installed mongodb server and it's it was already running so this client has recognized that and connected to your default mongodb server here you can uh, write some commands like uh, show dbs and it's going to show all the databases right if you want to create a database you can write use and the name of your database for example my db and it's going to uh, create that database for you but you need to insert some data in your database to view this uh, database when you give this show dbs command so if you give show dbs you will not be able to see this command. I should have written show dbs here. And you can see still I don't see my db in the list. The reason is I have to insert some data into my database in order to view uh, that database. So in order to uh, create a collection, you can write this command db dot create collection, right? So I just need to write db dot create collection and then in the parenthesis just give the name of your collection i'm going to name my collection as uh, students for example and then press enter 
Now, in order to view the collections inside my database, I can say show collections here. And you can see I have one collection, which is students collection, right? In order to insert data, I can write db dot uh, the collection name, which is uh, students in my case, and then insert, and then I can give a JSON value to insert data into it. I can so I can insert the data using these curly brackets, and then I can say name colon whatever name I want to give here right so just insert the data using this command and once uh, the data is inserted you can see uh, when you give show db's command you will be able to see my db is there right so mongo uh, shell is working let's also install uh, mongodb compass so once again go to uh, the mongodb website and then click on product, click on community edition, and then under tools, you will be able to see this uh, MongoDB compass here. So MongoDB compass, which is a GUI. I'm going to click on that. And then here I can select the stable version and then select uh, my operating system, which is Ubuntu 64 bit. And uh, then I can select this uh, package format which is .deb right so just click on this uh, download button which is going to download this uh, mongodb compass .deb file once this .deb file is downloaded the procedure for installing uh, mongodb compass is also very easy just uh, cd to your downloads folder just give ls command to view what is the name of the mongodb compass.deb file you can see this is the file which we have downloaded in order to run this just write sudo dpkg hyphen i and the name of your file which is this one so i'm going to right click copy and right click paste and then press enter and give my ubuntu password and then press enter, which is going to install MongoDB Compass on my Ubuntu operating system. Once MongoDB Compass is installed, you can see uh, I can use this command, which is MongoDB hyphen compass, or I can go to uh, the application section. So just click on show applications. And here I can see this MongoDB Compass uh, icon i can also search for uh, mongodb and you can see mongodb compasses here so just open mongodb compass uh, using this uh, icon and once mongodb compass has been started you just need to connect to your database so the default mongodb server is running on localhost 27017 port just click on connect and you will be able to see all your databases. You can see we have created MyDB a database and one collection here. And our collection is there. And we have just inserted one document inside our collection, which was the name. And it's there, right? So this is how you can uh, view your MongoDB data using this graphical user interface also. From here, you can also create the databases and collections. So let me create one more collection, which will be called, uh, let's say, analytics. And the collection name will be, let's say, sensor, right? And then from MongoDB 5, you can also define what type of collection you want. So, yeah. so from MongoDB 5 onwards, you can also create time series collection we don't want to create time series collection for now i'm going to just click on create database and you can see this database is created okay so this is how you can download and install mongodb server mongodb shell and mongodb compass on your ubuntu operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video